Hello, I'm Steve with Touch of the Master's Hand. Uh, good morning, guys. Uh, the Lord's been dealing with me, giving me, like, scriptures every day. It's been a while, but sometimes in dreams, most of the time in prayers, but anyhow, so he told me to start sharing them, so this is the one for today. Two of them, actually. Early in the morning, so for me, anyhow. You know, I had it. It's First Timothy one through five and second Timothy three eight through twelve. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the commandment of God our Savior and the Lord Jesus Christ our hope. To Timothy a, a true son in the faith. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and Jesus Christ our Lord. As I urged you when I went into Macedonia, remain in Ephesus, that you may charge some that they teach no other doctrine, nor give heed to fables and endless genealogies, which cause disputes rather than godly edification, which is in faith. Now, the purpose of the commandments is love from a pure heart, from a good conscience, and from a sincere faith. Second, Second Timothy three, sorry guys, eight through 12. Now, as Janus and Jambres resisted Moses, so do these also resist the truth. Men of corrupt minds disapproving concerning the faith, but they will pro progress no further, for their folly will be manifest to all those, to all their way, to all, as there also was. But you have carefully followed my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long-suffering, love, perseverance, persecutions, afflictions, which happened to me in Antioch, at Iconium, and Lystra, what persecutions I endured, and out of them all the Lord delivered me. Yes, and all who desire to live godly, in Christ, Jesus will suffer persecution. I'm not going to really try to interpret him too much, guys, because I just kind of want to get him out there. Um, interpretation is up to you. But I want to talk a little bit about it because it's kind of stuff that's kind of going on in the, all around us. Um, there's a lot of fables and vain disputes and all kinds of different twisted up doctrines. I'm having a cup of coffee. Sorry, guys. Hope y'all are too. But Jesus, God wants to cut through all that. His plan was Jesus. So, got to get our minds off of This stuff and the, that's going on all around us, and focus on Him. We all have circumstances and things. You know, I get it. Life can be busy, and some of us have children, and just a lot going on. And you know, we can't just drop the ball. Some things need to be taken care of. You know, but we can still change our thinking with this mind being you which was also in Christ Jesus to be focused on him in wherever we're at I mean whatever circumstance my wife and I minister down at a homeless shelter every Sunday and it's a completely different world down there guys it really is because those people have been labeled 
falsely. I get it. A lot. I mean, most of them are. A lot of them are there by their own doings and their own bad decisions and drugs and and there's mental illnesses and stuff. But they're never taught about how much God really loves them. That He gave His only Son. That's their true value. Most of them are beat down, destroyed, kicked aside, church, society. So, but that's a lot of the church too. You know, there's just a lot of issues and then we get into all this swirly debates of just, you know, stuff. A lot of nonsense. So that's one of my messages, who's your source? Get it from God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, and the Word. If it's coming from somewhere else. I don't know if I'm, you know, I don't. I'm not going to pay much attention to it. I may hear it, but I'm not really hearing it. That's what I'm talking about, about being focused on Him. It's like I just, some article this morning about all this trillion, $66 trillion in debt or whatever. It's like, okay, yeah, that's a very, very bad thing. But Jesus has a solution to it, and there's a reason and a purpose. If it wasn't for him and God's plan, we probably may not even, probably wouldn't even exist as a country, honestly. be a third world country, I mean, you know, Claim to be this richest nation in the world and brilliant and all this economic stuff. And it's like, man, guys, get your head out of the sand. And that's what I'm talking about, about this, let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. Because he's got a plan. His plan is to reach people and souls. And, you know, this battle is going to be won in the streets, in people's homes. In the nursing homes, and the jail houses, and the mental institutions, and the homeless shelters, and the, where the messiness of people's lives are. There's a lot of hurting people out there, guys, and it's time for us to just, as a true body of believers, if we're claiming to have Jesus in our heart and turned our life over to Him, to be His glory and to shine and to step up to the plate. Me too, I'm not throwing this out to just, I'm not accusing anybody of anything. I'm not, I'm not that's not me. I'm saying let our light shine, let our glory shine, let our love shine, edify, build up, instead of all this vain debate. I mean, watch the news. I heard this one lady say, used to be a time when the news was the news. I don't kind of remember it in the 70s, 60s, 70s. Walter Cronkite, just kind of just mundane and just kind of just plain and read off the teleprompter and, and then let us formulate our opinions. Now, she said, it's just a bunch of talking heads. You know, I mean, they get on some issue or subject and beat it to death with, and of course they bring in everybody that has the same opinion as them Pick one, Fox News or CNN, you know, pick a side. All this stuff that's seemingly, you know, distractions and, you know, and debates. Where's Jesus in all this? Where's God in all this? That's what I'm saying. Get our mind off of this stuff. And the love of Christ and the true meaning and the purpose of our lives here. So anyhow, didn't really mean to preach on this one, but anyhow, God bless y'all. Um, thanks for tuning in. Hope you look at some of my other ones. Please share these videos with others. Likes, dislikes. Uh, kind of the, that's where I'm at. That's the vessel I'm at. I'm just getting this stuff out there. So anyhow. Yeah, if you want to email me directly, Steve Youngstrom at yahoo.com. Um, there's a book I got out about visions. If you want a pre copy of it, email me an address. I'll send you one. I'm, I won't send you anything else, no other junk, nothing. You, you won't ever get anything else but the, but the book. 
Um, I won't ever use your email, ask for anything, nothing. But, so, free. Or you can get it on Amazon. Um, another one coming out in the end of February. That one is Jesus Christ in you, the hope of glory. That's what he was dealing with me about, about how Jesus was his glory. When we become his sons, enter in with Jesus in our hearts, we become his glory. So that's what I'm trying to that's kind of where I'm getting at with this this morning. It's time for us to just rise, rise and shine in Isaiah. Isaiah 62, which is an awesome scripture. There's a bunch of them, but they're going to be in this book. But 62 and 9, you know, the first part's all about, you know, setting the captives free, and that's an awesome scripture. Beauty for ashes, there's just a lot of awesomeness, but six and, 62 and 9 says it's for the planting of the Lord so that he may get the glory. So, step up to the plate, guys. It's time for us to just stand up and be accounted worthy and quit shrinking back. And, not, I mean, the things God show me and teaching me and all of us too, you know, Read Matthew 20. It's all about the equality and how we're all the same. Whether you're the doorkeeper or the senior pastor. So it's time for us to arise and shine, guys, and be his glory. And things he's shown me and teaching me in his word, I'm not going to debate about it. That's not, it's not, it's not open for debate for me. There's, I call them landmarks, but there's been some solid things that Jesus has done in my life and God has done in my life that, you know, my wife wasn't there, my kids weren't there or whatever. Sometimes they were, but in some of them, but it's like, they're solid. It's that rock. I know what happened. How God moved on my behalf in my life and Jesus on my behalf and in my life. So, it's not an open debate for me. It's solid. It's in my heart. Rock solid. So anyhow, God bless y'all. Um, have a great, wonderful day. I uh, will probably see you tomorrow morning.